hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m is equals to 65 and we solve this problem for all the values of m so here we solve this problem for positive integer values of m so now we move toward the solution of this problem and the very first thing we are going to do is here first uh, we need to multiply and divide the exponent of both of these two terms by 2 and it will be written as 3 to the power of m and its whole exponent is 2 divided by 2 minus uh, 2 to the power of m and its whole exponent is 2 by 2 is equals to 65. And now here uh, we move uh, 1 over 2 inside the term and it will be written as 3 to the power of m over 2 and its whole square minus in this case we have 2 to the power of m over 2 and its whole square is equals to 65 and now here uh, in the next step we need to convert this equation this exponential equation into the quadratic form and for this uh, we will take here uh, x is equals to 3 to the power of m over 2 and we will take y is equals to 2 to the power of m over 2 it means that the base of this term is equals to x and the base of this term is equals to y and after this substitution uh, we write our above equation as x square minus y square is equals to 65 and now here further in the next step you see in the left hand side this is the very famous algebraic formula so x square minus y square is equals to x minus y times of x plus y is equals to 65 so here you see that in the left hand side we have these are the two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so that here we need to first find uh, some positive integers whose product becomes 65 so uh, these positive integers are uh, 13 times 5 becomes 65 and 5 times 13 is also becomes 65 1 times 65 equals to 65 65 times 1 is equals to 65 so here we have these are the four possibilities in which we get the product of two positive integers becomes 65 and now here in the next step uh, here we need to make the relation of these two factors and here you see that x minus y is always less than or equals to x plus y so here according to this uh, we choose those pair of values in which the first factor is, is less than or equals to the second factor. So here uh, we see that this 13 is greater than 5. Uh, so we rejected this case because first factor is not less than second. In this case 5 is less than 13. We accept this case and here again 1 is less than 65. We accept this case. And here 65 is greater than 1 so we reject this case so here we have these are the two possibilities uh, in which the product of two positive integers becomes 65 so that now we convert our question into the two cases so the first case is uh, we just compare these two factors with these two values okay so after comparing this we get x minus y equals to 5 and x plus y is equals to 13 so this is our first case and here we have our second case so that our uh, second case is we compare these two factors with 1 and 65 and it will be written as x minus y equals to 1 and x plus y is equals to 65 so here uh, we need a uh, to solve these two cases and we easily get the values of x and y and then we get the values of m so here uh, we call this is equation number one and this is our equation number two so that here first we sum up equation number one and equation number two so this is the negative and positive term are cancelled out by each other and we get here x plus x becomes 2x and 5 plus 13 becomes 18 so here for the values of x we divide both of the sides by 2 this 2 and this 2 are gone and this is 2 times 9 becomes 18 so we get the value of x is equals to 9 
And now here we move backward and we put the value of x so that our x is equals to 3 to the power of m over 2. And now we back substitute this value here it is 3 to the power of m over 2 equals to this is 9 and we write this 9 as 3 square. And now we compare both of the sides and you see that bases are same so that we compare or we equate its exponents so we get m over 2 equals to 2 and we easily get the value of m is equals to 2. So this is the first uh, root of the given equation which we get here and now we need to solve the second case and from second case uh, here uh, we uh, when we uh, add these two equations we call this is equation number 3 and this is equation number 4 and when we add these two we get here 2x equals to 1 plus 65 becomes 66 and for the values of x we again divide by 2 this two these two are gone this is 2 times 33 becomes 6 and we get the value of x is equals to 33 and here we again move backward and we put the value of uh, x is here so our x is equals to 3 to the power of m over 2 equals to 33 so uh, this case uh, is not uh, gives us the integer solution okay this is not belongs to positive integer okay uh, so this case is not gives us the positive integer value of m so that uh, we rejected this case and here uh, we now we find the value of y for this we need to subtract equation number three and equation number four so when we subtract these two equations so that we change these signs so this x and x are gone and minus y minus y becomes here minus 2y this is 1 minus 65 becomes minus 64 so here for the values of y we divide both of the sides by minus 2 so this minus 2 and this minus 2 are gone and we get the value of y is equals to this and this are gone this is 2 times 3 becomes 6 and 2 times 2 becomes 4 so we easily get the value of y is equals to 32 again we move backward and we put the value of y it is 2 to the power of m over 2 so we substitute this value here it is 2 to the power of m over 2 equals to this is 32 and we write the prime factors of 32 are 2 to the power of 5 so again you see that bases are same so we equate its exponent and we get m over 2 is equals to 5 and in this case we move this 2 to the right hand side and we easily get the value of m is equals to 2 times 5 becomes here 10 this is the value of m second value of m so finally we will get here uh, there are two roots of the given equation or there are two solutions of the given equation and uh, these solutions are 2 and 10 these are the two positive integer solutions of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos